Hello everyone, welcome to the GPDB concept series that takes up different aspects of GPDB and its concepts. The first lecture in this series is understanding distribution inside GPDB. My name is Venkatesh Raghavan. I'm a principal product manager for the query processing team. Data distribution is key to parallelism that makes GPDB your best solution for big data. GPDB is an MPP shared nothing architecture where the input table from the user is chunked up into smaller pieces. Each of these pieces are then placed on different segment nodes. What this enables is localized operation and maximizing parallelism for your input queries. The key, the kinds of distribution that GPDB supports are of two forms random distribution and hash distribution. Distribution means is the distribution is the policy in which that the tuples of your table are chunked up and placed on different segments. So let's start off with a simple distribution policy called as random distribution policy. A user can specify a table to be distributed in a random fashion by the distributed randomly clause in the create table SQL command. If the distribution policy is random, then the tuples are placed in a round robin fashion. For instance, let us look at this the following architecture of your GPDB instance. A client connects to the master node via psql ODBC or JDBC. The master node for GPDB then connects to three GPDB segment nodes. In this example, we have three segments. The first segment colored in a color of orange is segment one. Second is segment two with the color blue. And the third is segment three with color green for your visual aid. Let us assume that the table orders has four tuples. These four tuples, when you specify random distribution, is scanned one by one and sequentially placed in a round robin fashion across these four segments. As you can see, tuples that are of order key one are now placed one in segment one and one in segment three. This is based on the order or the sequence in which the order tuples are inputted. In contrast, let's now look at the hash distribution. A customer can specify a table to be distributed by a hash value or by the following SQL command. All the customer has to do is to add the distributed by a set of columns at the end of the create table. In this example, you distribute the orders based on order key. Let us revisit the previous example of four tuples in the orders table. When the first tuple with order key one is inserted, the client connects to the master, gives this tuple to the master, which then looks up the hashing column. The hashing column in the create table is specified to be order key. Let us, for simplicity, assume that all orders of order key one will be placed on segment one. So if your distribution policy is on order key, this tuple of order key with order one is placed on segment one. Now the second tuple has order key three. This tuple is placed on the third segment because the order key value is three. The third tuple has the order key one and since our distribution policy is one is on order key, all orders of value one will be placed in segment one. So therefore this third tuple is now placed on segment one. Lastly, the order with order key two is placed on segment two. This is a simplistic example. In reality, based on the distribution policy, 
we will hash based on the data values of these distribution columns and then place those tuples in the corresponding segments. What is the first advantage of data distribution? Let us look at a simple query, select star from orders where total price equal to 100. Let us assume that the table is randomly distributed. Even as such in a random distribution policy, the table is distributed across three segments and each segment has a portion of the orders table and they can in parallel read the orders tuples and filter out only those tuples that meet the condition of total price equal to 100. Once they get those tuples that satisfy this predicate, they ship these tuple to the master. What we see is by doing this distribution policy, we can have three segments look at three disjoint sets of data and maximize parallelism. So each of your input query will now benefit by this parallelism across segments. Choosing your distribution policy. Choosing a bad distribution policy can adversely affect performance of the user query. So therefore, choosing the right one is crucial for GPDB to be your best big data solution. Defining the distribution policy for a given table involves two factors. First, you want to determine if you want to use a hash or a random distribution. If you had picked hash distribution for your table, you need to determine if which columns in that table you want to use as your distribution policy for hashing. So let us look at another table called line item. The line item table maintains a list of line items inside a given order. So let's pick a poor distribution policy of hashing on line number. So let's make another assumption that each order has only one line item, therefore only one line number. If line number is then used for the distribution policy, all of the line items will land up on the segment one. In contrast, let us look at a good distribution policy. For instance, let us look at order key as the distribution policy for line item. This is similar to the order key of the orders table. The same four tuples that we saw in the poor distribution example, let us now place these line items on to the segments based on order key as the distribution policy. In this case, what we will see is that the four line items will be distributed across these three segments. This is in contrast to a poor distribution policy where all of the line items were distributed on the first segment. Therefore, in this case, when you scan line items table, all of the segments are being active. Now, what is the advantage of having this distribution policy of line item? Typically, a user wants to see all of the orders and its corresponding line item. This translates to an inner join with the join condition as order key of orders table equal to order key of line item table. If he had picked both line item and orders to be distributed on order key, what we will see is all of the orders and line items that have the same order key value will be co-located. In other words, the join can happen in parallel with in each segment without seeing tuples of the other table on the other segment. This 
ideal distribution policy maximizes parallelism and makes your run makes your query run on your petabyte of data super fast in summary what is an optimal distribution policy first understand your typical workload and table schema i am sure there are going to be many ad hoc queries that you may not be able to predict but usually you have a handful of frequently asked queries and your table schema usually lends to a particular set of queries being queried on identify the columns that will typically be used for grouping joining or window operation these are good candidates for distribution because window join and group by operations are quite expensive and you want to maximize parallelism you want to maximize operations done locally on your segments and little tuples being redistributed across these segments less optimal distribution policy any column that has a skew like for line num like what for instance line number in the line items table that is a poor distribution policy if you choose such columns then most of your tuples will land up on a few handset handful of segments and you will not maximize parallelism there are also certain columns in which users typically tend to filter for instance you want to find out orders that are maximum profitability or orders that are less than or greater than a particular price range these are great filtering columns but they are not good distribution columns they can be used instead for indexing or partitioning partitioning for example you typically users want to filter tuples within a particular date range since this is a filtering operation this is a great candidate for partitioning this concludes the first lecture of the gpdb concept series thank you very much for your attention the github page for gpdb and orca is listed here please connect with us with the gpdb users mailing list to know the latest coolest thing that we are working on thank you very much